Hey what's up guys Shinmaya and today I'm going to talk about the Morphos ROM for the Galaxy S4. It is ported from Note 5 and it has the UI of the Note 7 that is the Grace UX and it has been one of the most anticipated ROM for Galaxy S4 and it is finally ready. So let's have a look at it and before we do that let me show you how to install it because there are some particular steps which you need to follow in order to install this ROM or else it will give you some errors. So without any further ado go to the download page and download the ROM and put it in your SD card. Then boot into the TWRP recovery or the fills recovery. I have mentioned the link for both fills and TWRP recovery that is the latest one in the description below. So make sure you update your recovery before you flash the ROM. Once in the recovery mode make sure the first thing you do is an Android backup because if you don't like the ROM you can simply go back to the one which you had previously. And once when it's done, select wipe and select advanced wipe. Now select everything except the external storage and the USB if you have connected it and then swipe to wipe. Once that is completed, hit the home button and now select install. Navigate to your SD card and select the folder where you have saved the ROM file. Select the file and then swipe to flash. You will be greeted by the Aroma installer and here there are some things that you need to follow. First thing is the theme of the installer which is optional you can select anything I go with the general one. Next is language I prefer English. Click next. Select do not wipe. Click next again. Then click I agree and then again select next. Hit next again. Select deep loaded and hit next. Now this is the most important part guys you can select anything that you want like the S6 camera or the condensed UI which is the load DPI screen. But most important thing you need to do here is make sure you select to install expose because if you don't install expose there is a bug and it will show full storage and you, it won't allow you to install any app even after side loading the app it will crash. So make sure you hit that expose button and then click next and then install. The installation doesn't take much time depending on the version you selected bloated or de-bloated. So I'll be back once when it's finished. As you can see the installation has completed. Just select next and select next again and the phone will reboot itself. The first boot will take really long time around 10 to 15 minutes. So please be patient and let the boot complete. So I'll be back once when I set up the device. As you can see the boot has finally completed and we are greeted with the touchwiz home screen and as you can see we also get the edge screen menu which has a people's edge and apps edge we don't have any other stuff but it's still cool. Up top we got the quick settings just like the note 7 and they are 6 and we also get more of them when we click the three dot menu. Also as you can see I didn't get any storage error issue that thanks to expose installer. Also all the apps are themed and all the icons are also the new ones which are seen in the S8 leak and the Note 7 ones. And as you can see I have the S7 camera but unfortunately modes won't work if you install this so consider that point before flashing it. And the folders have transparent background as you can see here. The settings are really nicely segregated and all of the icons are of the Note 7 and the Grace UX as you can see here. And that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful make sure you hit that like button. And if you want an in-depth review of this ROM then please make sure you mention it in the comment section below. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get the new video next time. And I'll be back with you another time in the next one. Until then peace.